There you are. Yeah. Just sit right back and you hear a tail. Ah, uh, no. So today we're doing the Bellum Walk from GPS My City. And it starts here at the, it says Naval Museum, but it's actually Combat Museum according to the sign. And we have the memorial, which is apparently guarded formally. And stretches around over there. So we're gonna go for a walk. We'll take you along and show you the stuff you'll see along the way. You ready? You ready for the walk? Ready for the walk. Okay, let's do it. Miguel's rule. Tip, the biggest draw here is ascending to the summit via the spiral staircase. Unless you're fortunate enough to find the short spot on the But then I've got us okay, but, and the castle. Yeah, so do it down. Oh, there we go. See, there's a castle. Okay. Tower, sorry. Yeah. It's a tower. Okay. A castle. All right. Okay, you happy with that? Yeah. Okay. So that's a potential activity for a future trip, the Liz boat. So the GPS My City app, the walk that we're doing, has us going up to the main drag a lot sooner. We're actually going to walk down the river until we get to the marina and then go up to the main street because that appears to us to be a more interesting way to do it. So walking along the Tagus River. Way off there in the distance, we can see the Jesus statue that I can't remember the proper name of right now. Have to deal with that later. And then the uh, super cool bridge. stop on the walking tour of Bellum is the, uh, the big sailing ship thing. Apparently right here is a good place to pitch. Okay, so from here, we were gonna go across to the next destination and also probably get some food. And I thought we had to go to the pedestrian flyover, which is way off down the road there by the tower. But apparently, there's a tunnel. I'm super excited about that. And then you come up on the other side of the road. Right next, the right next to the pizza place.
seller. And tourist shit. It's done. So the Museum of Contemporary Art is a fairly impressive building from the ground level. And then when you come up here onto the roof, apparently, it's uh, even more impressive. This is item number eight, right? Seven. Yeah, seven? No, I thought seven was the Maritime Museum. Okay. This is the Maritime Museum. Seven's the Maritime Museum. No. Yes. Sort of. It is. Okay. Oh, it's the Maritime Museum. This whole thing is museum. But it's the end of the monastery building. Wait, just because they had a ginormous building, they went ahead and put an extra thing in it? Yep. Crazy. So we go in there. Go in there and do the whole thing. Wow. And then this whole massive thing. Okay, so in the middle then is the architectural or antiquities or something, the one that's temporarily closed. And then down there is the monastery and the cloisters and the whatever is else in there. Okay, so that's the thing. Number nine is the garden. The botanical tropical garden. Like there's plants. But number 10, Five Stage Debellum, the original, supposedly, uh, which all the Pastel Donata are based on. And we tried these when we were here on our Tuk Tuk tour. And they're they're fine. We actually prefer some other recipes we've run across, but it's a very personal preference thing. And that line there does not look interesting to stand in. Alright, 
Mais c'est un national de coaches. Which we will be coming back to to do a a proper proper visit and I think we're going to go across where it says quake there uh, the earthquake museum pretty sure that's going to be on our activity list this week so apparently there's more than one cube I saw that one and said we need to go check that out and then I feel really good about sitting down for a few minutes but apparently there's multiple sculptures so I think we'll do the sitting down for a few minutes thing and then Go look at the sculptures. So we have here a brainless figure in stone, which, you know, dude sitting down with no mind power left. And what I feel like we're 6.85 miles into our walk today. And even though there's signs about not climbing on the artwork, of course the hipsters have to go ahead and sit on one of the pieces of artwork because that's what they do. But that is the end of the GPS My City Bellum Walk. Stick around and we'll do some activity videos as we go do individual things. Okay. So what do you think? You have no internet, but aside from that, how about the walk? The walk was, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were talking. That's okay. Uh, no, the walk was cool. Talking. Yeah, the walk was neat. It was kind of interesting to see somebody who's never been here before, how to do a walk of Bellum Tour. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't need to make sense. It's been a really long it's day. It's been a really long day, <laughs> yes. So, uh, what we would say, and I'm sure she'll agree with me, even though I'm speaking for both of us with no prior consultation, for those folks that ask, is three days enough to spend in Lisbon? Uh, you could spend one day and never get out of the Bellum District if you wanted True. to. We just did. We just did, right? And we didn't even go in any of the museums. Uh, now, if we were going in museums, we would have started earlier in the day wandering out of the apartment at 10 a.m. and then meandering down and having a cappuccino and a and a pastel we weren't exactly on the ball but no, so uh, we've been taking our time we've been taking our time because that's how we travel because you know we're we're senior nomads anyway later <laughs>